We continue to track Hurricane Idalia, now a Category 2 storm. We do have crews spread out all across Florida, especially that Big Bend area along the coastline, bringing you every angle of the storm's devastation. Let's check in with Local 10's Andrew Perez. He picks up our team coverage from Hudson and Pasco counties, just north of Clearwater, with how things are looking there. And he's been showing us all morning long the rising waters in those neighborhoods. Yeah, a little bit of good news, at least here in Hudson, at least for right now, is the water appears to be going down a little bit. I want to show you the water line on this, uh, this fence over here. The homeowners, they felt they had to leave. They grabbed their car and they opened it up. But you can see where the water was, uh, I would say maybe about 45 minutes ago. Uh, it was right there. So that's really good news. But here's the thing. We are still more than a mile away from the Gulf. And there are still so many other communities, many of which are lower lying, big neighborhoods, right down the road and if you look all the way at the end there's actually a car there somebody is in that car that car just recently got stalled out in the floodwaters back there so rescue crews have been coming and going from this area they've been taking these boats a lot of those people that you're seeing walking around when i'm talking to them they're like we're coming back from either a shelter or staying with a friend or a family member and we're coming back to see what has happened to our home? How much flooding are we looking at? What are we talking about? Did we lose everything? Uh, several crews are out there right now with the Pasco County uh, Fire Department. They're using these boats that we've actually got one right here. There's a uh, bag on it. The bag's full of uh, life jackets. You've got the boat and they're just walking around the floodwaters where they can, getting in where they need to and pulling people out. We actually saw some of those rescues happen a little bit earlier this morning. I want you to take a look at what some of those residents had to say. Before I knew it, it was over the wall. We are trying to get in the truck and it's up to the, barely able to get the doors open. Like, came over the wall. It's just, I can't believe this. I've never seen nothing like it. Oh, about there. So up, about up. there, yeah. About the deepest, yeah. This morning when I got up at like 6 o'clock, it seemed. It's right below the door. Okay. Now. I was like, oh, I don't have any water in my house, you know, the, I didn't hear any rain. And then, so I opened my door and it was right there. Then all my friends were like, listen, this is low tide. You're gonna have to get out of there because it's gonna get worse. I've never seen this before. I mean, we've had a hurricane here, but it's never flooded to this extent. And you've got to keep in mind, it's hard to get a full assessment of the damage right now, of the flooding, of the storm surge, because a lot of these places are not accessible. We have got uh, power crews that aren't able to get around. We've got first responders. We even saw a fire truck, an EMS truck, that had gotten stuck in uh, some of these floodwaters out here as well and needed help. Crews are fanning out right now, trying to figure out who still needs help, answering calls for service, but also going door to door in some of those lower lying areas. Many people did decide to ride it out. Some of them already telling me that they regret doing that. They had to be pulled from their homes and they're like, you know what, it wasn't the right call. I thought I was okay. We had never flooded like this before. So we're gonna be here throughout the day. We're gonna find out exactly, uh, see if we can get a little bit further in um, a little bit later on here on Local 10 News. We're in Hudson. I'm Andrew Perez. Back to you. Well,